lefm.net. We now have the results in after special stage four, or the results at least for the top 10 or 12 runners. <coughs> and it's all changed yet again. When we left special stage three, Matt Edwards and Tom Cave had posted at exactly the same time, although Tom was the official, well, unofficial leader of the event because he was set the fastest time of the two on special stage one. It's all change. Um, Ian, do you want to run us through the times? For the, how many have we got in there? Uh, we've got about n eight of the national runners times in at the moment. So off you go. Right. Yes, as you said, Chris, it, it is very, very close at the, close at the top of the leaderboard. Um, leading, the, leading the rally at the moment is Matt Edwards, and he is on 21 minutes, 27 seconds, and he is just two seconds faster than Tom Cave, with Osium Price third. He is seven seconds down. Now, 28 seconds down on Ossian is Reef Yates in fourth, with Matthew Wilson uh, again. Now, he is 31 seconds behind Matt, but by the same token, he is only three seconds behind Reef. So, Matthew is fifth. In sixth is Keith Cronin on 22 minutes. 11 seconds which is 13 seconds behind Matthew seventh is Elliot Payne who we are hoping has fixed his intercom problems um, he is six seconds behind Keith and in eighth is Callum Black on 22 minutes 24 so seven seconds behind Elliot and he is leading the interclub rally at the moment overall Ninth is Josh Moffitt on 22.26. Uh, He's two seconds behind Callum. And rousing out the top ten is Stephen Petch, who again is just two seconds behind Josh. So that's your, that's your top ten at the moment overall as they stand. For your historic road race or rally car preparation and on-event support, for your classic car servicing or restoration, including mechanical, trim, fabrication and paintwork, all carried out in-house, contact Robin Lackford Motor Engineering on 01403 864 600. I can also do the UK, times for... Some 64 the 600. For more information, go to our website, www.robinlackford.co.uk. I've got quite a few of them, not all of them, but from the BCRDA round. Um, starting off with Rally First 1.4. This is these are all after stage four. Uh, so leading is Tom Naylor in a Nissan Micra. Um, then on a class Rally First two liter, um, we have Andrew Bustard in his escort mark two he is leading from simon stanbury in an mgzr class 1400s which is the uh, the quick 1400s we have steam we have steve black uh, who is leading david brick by 11 seconds and richard richard jordan we have as third with Aaron Ricks uh, in his Mark II Escort in fourth. And that is, he is just four seconds. Aaron is just four seconds behind Richard Jordan. 1400C, which is the, the, uh, the eight-valve engined cars. James Dunkley is leading in his Vauxhall Corsa. 
and he's got a healthy lead about one and a half minutes one minute 32 seconds he's leading over Gethin Price with Edward Wayne in an MGZR third uh, then we move into the bigger classes. We have uh, class NR4, which is the top-line production car. And um, it's one of the stalwarts of the championship, Pat Naylor, who's leading the class by 1 minute 42 seconds from Simon Dalton in an Impreza N12B with Wagouting, um, who is out. He is third and he is just 16 seconds behind Simon Dalton I've also got some classes uh, I've also got some class results for class B12 which are the uh, big two-wheel drive cars and as you can imagine it's all Ford Escorts at the top we have David Crossan leading at the moment by 39 seconds from Frank Kelly with Lauren Kelly in the co-driver's seat. Then Owen McMacklin is third. He's just four seconds behind Frank. And former Silver Star, BCRDA Silver Star champion, Ashley Davis. He is fourth and he is 19 seconds behind Owen. And that at the moment is... is all that I've got, in fact, sorry, as I speak, I've received some uh, some information from class B13, which is one of the four-wheel drive classes. And uh, George Lepley is dominating at the moment um, in his Mitsubishi Evo 10. Uh, he's leading the class from Richard Hill in another Lancer. Um, he is 44 seconds in arrears from George with Gareth Mimnar third and Gareth is just nine seconds behind Richard. And that is the information on the classes that I've got at the moment. RallyFM.net